Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, we have a, a variety of new and, quite frankly, extremely mysterious findings uh, today, both on the planet Mars and on the dark side of the moon, the side with which we never see. Today we're going to show you first this very interesting Mars discovery, and you can look this up yourself. It's on Google Earth. You switch over to Mars, and you can zoom in on this using the coordinates we will place down in the video description. And as you're seeing, a viewer of ours found these very mysterious lights in the bottom of a darkened crater. And as you're seeing here, we have four distinct lights uh, sticking out in what looks like a perfect triangular formation, uh, or... Um, sort of an airplane formation where you would have a light directly in the front a light on either side for the wings and a light in the back for the tail uh, now obviously this isn't a plane but you get the basic idea here um, very very strange and as you've seen many times on our videos we have uh, captured a lot of anomalous structures on Mars uh, however this would be the first time that we've actually seen lights on Mars However, um, this could be a craft of some sort. This could be objects down in the crater uh, being lit from within. It's obviously impossible to tell. And again, we have found a range of anomalous structures on Mars. We have found various domed structures across the Martian surface. We have found monoliths, these large rectangular objects towering above the surface casting shadows. We have found areas of Mars that contain these massive, elongated shadows being cast on the surface from whatever massive, cigar-shaped object uh, was above it. But we have not found lights, so again, let me know what you guys think about this. So now on to our next discovery, which as I said earlier, comes from the dark side of the moon. Now, as you may or may not know, we have multiple orbiters that were sent to the moon way back in the day, and I'm talking in the 60s and 70s, sent to the moon specifically to do reconnaissance, and specifically to map the side of the moon with which we never see and get a complete mapping of what was there. That is the point of the orbiters. Now, there were various Lunar Orbiter missions. The images that I'm going to show you are from Lunar Orbiter 4. And these images um, corroborate the growing amount of testimony coming from former NASA employees saying that there were these objects on the backside of the moon uh, that they were ordered to airbrush out before selling them to the public. And it gives you an idea of the sort of structures uh, that were back there, and that are the primary reason uh, that we have orbiters up there mapping uh, said side of the moon. So here we have a frame, and again, I will put this down in the video description, the link to all of the Lunar Orbiter 4 mission images. And we have found various anomalous structures. Now what you're looking at is the back side of the moon, just as the orbiter was coming around the back side. So this area right here, we want to point out two very anomalous things, the first of which is what looks like a crater at first glance, but when you zoom in, um, you see another perfectly circular object uh, within this crater, or at least what looks like a crater. And uh, it, again, if, as you're seeing, it's basically uh, a ring within a ring. and. Uh, we've talked about before these structures that have been built 
into the sides of craters that you'll see on the inside crater rims. And there have been um, a handful of Apollo images from when they walked on the moon showing these massive structures that seem to wrap around the inside of some of these craters on the moon. And you can look at this crater here and it's just perfect the way this inside ring uh, is wrapping around the inside rim of the outer crater. So then as we zoom back out, we want to point your attention to another crater that has some sort of massive object sticking up out of it. And I'm talking about this crater right here. Now as we zoom in, you can see here we have a crater and then sticking up out of it, uh, which is sort of in a uh, pointed triangular shape, al although it's much more curved uh, on the end. It's not completely pointed as you would see in a triangle, but nonetheless, you see this large triangular shaped object. It almost looks like uh, sort of a uh, an arrowhead type shape. And you can actually see the shadow of this object being cast back on the inside rim of the crater that it is inside of. And again, if this was simply part of the crater, you would not have two separate shadows, and you would not have a shadow unless this was an actual object sitting inside a crater being able to cast said shadow. And you can see the actual shadow being cast on the inside of the crater from the sun's angle, which is off to the right. So again, two very anomalous things in this image. So now the next anomalous structure we want you to see and remember, we've talked a lot about uh, the fact that there are these domes, domes all over the moon. And you think I'm joking, uh, but we have shown you this numerous times before. And I want you to take a look at this crater here uh, again, which has one of these L shaped structures sitting once again on the inside rim of the crater. You're seeing this L shape here and directly to the right of this L shape, we have two identical domes both in size and shape and you can clearly see that they are domes you can see the sunlight glinting off the top and these are not craters due to the fact that the shadows on the objects are in the complete wrong places that they should be as you're seeing in the actual crater here but no these are two reflective domed objects uh, sitting directly next to this massive l-shaped structure sitting on the inside rim once again of a crater and again i'm telling you these domes do exist on the moon as a matter of fact here's one of our favorite images of one of these domes that we like to post from time to time showing one of these domes sitting in a crater close-up image and you can see the reflective almost glass-like covering and in this image it almost looks as if it's slightly covered up in a thin layer of moon dust or some sort of camouflage to keep it from being seen. It could be an ancient ruin of some sort, but nonetheless, you can see the dome sticking out of the crater like a sore thumb. So speaking of domes and objects sitting uh, almost in what look like uh, perfect straight lines, we will bring your attention to this area of the moon here. And the first thing we wanna show you is this crater here where we have what looks like a very tall tower like structure standing up right in the middle of the crater and you can see the shadow of the structure cast on the bottom of the crater and then we want to bring your attention to this crater here up at the top now if you haven't seen it yet we will go ahead and zoom in a little bit and I want to show you this perfect array of six circular dome shaped objects sitting on the rim of this crater right here where we're circling so we have two pairs of three domes perfectly lined up with each other, making a, a perfect rectangular shape um, all grouped together. And then if you move your attention a little bit further up to the top, we see another perfectly straight line of three more of these domes, which we're circling here. And again, you can count them. There's one here, one here, and one here. Once again, perfectly shaped, all identical. You can see the sunlight glinting off of the top. And as you look at this image, this array of six domed objects here is not pixelation. You can look at the rest of the image and see that nowhere else in it will you find another array of these domed objects all grouped together. 
No, it's in this one single spot, and then just above it, coincidentally, once again, on the inside rim of a crater, we have three more domed structures. Now, speaking of the Lunar Orbiter 4 mission, I want to show you just a couple more photos that were made very popular by a fellow and well-known UFO researcher by the name of Alex Collier. Now, if you haven't heard or watched his videos yet, do get on YouTube and watch them. He does some great presentations showing you some of these anomalies on the backside of the moon. And we'll get through these really quick here. But as you're seeing in this first image, where we have some sort of uh, large flying structure sitting in the middle of this crater. Now, you can see the middle body of the object as well as what look like two massive wings coming off on either side and it honestly looks almost like an airliner of some sort or a plane uh, but again uh, this was uh, a very famous image brought to our attention by Alex Collier as well as this image here of what looks like a massive uh, base of some sort it, just a massive structure one giant structure as you're seeing here um, Here's the close-up. We have what looks like a massive rooftop here at the top. It actually reminds me of one of these old Chinese buildings where they have the curved roofs. And then you'll look down here. We have multiple walkways. We have a bridge that seems to come up and uh, connect with the structure. There's a shadow underneath it. And then here to the right, we have another uh, what looks like a walkway or tunnel of some sort sort of zigzagging up to the structure. So, yeah, these structures are there, people. Uh, the reason we have got orbiters circling the moon as we speak, taking images, are to catch these structures, as well as uh, structures like these massive satellite dishes that we showed you in a recent video, as you're seeing here. Um, dishes that are scouring uh, the surface of the moon. Here's another one here. As well as um, these massive base-like structures, uh, like the one seen here in an official NASA photo captured under the arm of a NASA employee uh, at his desk, once again showing a massive square building, which incidentally is actually in the exact spot that NASA bombed in 2009. If you don't know, NASA sent a rocket into Cabeus Crater in 2009 down into the exact area that this massive square structure was. And they literally bombed the moon. So, believe me, NASA knows what's there. They've been watching. They've never been back. And they've even bombed certain areas of the moon. So, believe me when I tell you, the truth is much stranger than fiction. So again, let me know what you guys think. Big thanks to everybody who sent me in images. And uh, stay tuned because we've got more videos coming very soon. So, thanks for watching and stay safe. Oh, 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 oh,